Hi, my name is Makiva Dixon Hill, and I'm the curator of education here at the Spelman College Museum of Fine Art. We just closed an amazing program titled Tell Tales, which was the culminating performance for our partnership with StoryCorps. It was a direct programmatic response to the exhibition on view, multiple choice perspectives on the Spelman College collection. We're really excited to be working with StoryCorps in this partnership because inextricably linked to this exhibition are the stories of our community. So as a response, with this partnership, we've collected stories from women of the African diaspora that focus on creativity. We decided to do a culminating performance that was conceived by Ayana Kofer, who's our graduate assistant here. Well, I am Ayana Kofer. I wanted to make sure that we had an artistic representation of these stories and how we have been impacted by life's events creatively. I thought of Ankafo Drum and Dance Institute, which is an awesome dance company. I thought of the Nalo Movement, which is a crew, a collective of beautiful women who tell told and untold stories of African American women. Um, I also thought of my children that I teach currently at Kit Vision Academy and how talented they are and the story that they have to tell. And I wanted to make sure that those people came together and brought these images that are installed in the exhibition to life. Last night, I was thinking that we formed a beautiful mosaic. No, more like a quilt because the fabric of our lives intertwined together to connect a beautiful quilt of vibrant colors and experiences that we share together. Except now it's richer because our lives are richer. It tells a marvelous story. These quilts tell stories. Each little piece of fabric in the quilt had a life all its own and it shares the story with all the other pieces in the quilt. And you see this red stuff here? I wore that to my dad's funeral. People were so curious for me for that. But my daddy bought me this dress when he came home from Korea from the war. He always told me I looked beautiful, like a brown china doll, I would say. Wow, Grandma, I never knew there were these stories. Come on. Wrap yourself in this and listen. Can you hear them? Hear what? The stories. The stories of your ancestors. The stories of the women. You see, baby, there's a West African name, Nalo, means beloved daughter. These stories of the quilt are treasures to be shared with you because you are indeed a beloved daughter. You see, the stories of black women ain't always been in the books, but you could always find them if you were searching and listening. Find the pieces and fragments of our story and put them together like a quilt to form a legacy, to warm you, to steal you, to restore you, to affirm you, and to love you. Now, one day I'm going to teach you how to quilt, and you will become a storyteller. I can share my story with them. And when I share my story, even the pain and the love and the joy, then it gives them something to dream about and to hope about. And it makes the possibility of doing better real for them. See, yeah, Moscato, definitely my new food. See, with Moscato, I'm not stuck waiting by the phone, shaky jumping, and ultimately looking to duck this disappointment because I know he won't call. But see, Moscato always catches me when I fall. 
pop the cork and take him in and every pain I've endured from him is fading, faded, gone. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> no more waiting home alone, wondering if and when one of these clowns is gonna ring my phone. For now, I'll just be sipping my Moscato as I visualize the presence of the one whose mere presence sends a shiver up and down my bone. It gives me the power, the power to express myself. Five babies and pregnant with the six, and we don't believe in abortions. So I just quietly made my appointment and told my husband that my cramps were worse. I couldn't have told him. He would have never forgiven me. And I love my babies. I love my babies. I just couldn't do one more. I just couldn't. We wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't have made it. Not then, not now. I just couldn't. Once we start really healing the South, washing the blood off the houses, retoiling soil, like my grandma used to say, turning over the soul, cleansing the atmosphere, washing the blood off our hands, forgiveness. When we really heal the South, the rest of the world, it'll be like a triple up and out effect. And I'm laying there, I'm alone, and I cannot see. But I know that that cloth is not white anymore, but it's the color of my insides spilling out into the world. So I lay there, I was thinking about my baby and here come that old doctor and the women again. And it's pretty much just like the first time until I feel this splitting, ripping pain. And I realize that he is cutting me on the inside. I can't fight, I can't, Scream, I can't resist, I can't fly away. At one point, he looked at me dead in the eye. And he said, your whales will not impede my work. Decent white women suffer, and you things is the closest things we got. Now shut up. And now, those women's eyes look into mine, and they say sadly, you must endure. I cannot resist. And I resigned myself to his nice you can't blame a sister for wanting to feel beautiful because we are. We are the reason some women get silicone injections just to keep their men's attention. We are the reason Obama can't keep his hands off Michelle and ain't afraid of public affection. We are the reason that some videos are 90% about us and 10% about the actual song. So if our booties had a theme song, it would empower the world to recognize her beauty across nations. Unmistakable, undeniable, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Uh, 
the show was excellent. I thought it was great to be able to have a forum where our stories can be told and told in such a beautiful and artistic and creative way. I thought the show was nice and how they talked about black women, it was amazing. This is very moving performance, I must say. I'm an alumna of Spelman College 2005, <laughs> um, so it was just really exciting to see pieces from exhibits that were here when I was attending Spelman. The things that NALO has, has always wanted to do and always tried to do is to bring the work that we do more into the community. And I feel like this was one opportunity for us to really do that. Going beyond the museum's walls and really just pulling in the community and as many artistic venues as possible, so I'm really excited to see what will be coming next.